life is challenging and to balance work and life office and home and ultimately our inner and outer keeps the pot of life boiling good evening all the viewers so you can see uh, this is the presentation which is uh, uh, today's uh, agenda uh, we have uh, workplace spirituality taught by dr mohandas agade and followed by a practical session on meditation relaxation and meditation dear friends let me ask you a question do you know how much time each one of us spent at workplace i mean of active hours of the day you will find that it is more the time we spend with the families or our loved ones if it is so then how can we take care of our physical mental and spiritual well being at workplace from tokyo to tokoma or from moscow to melbourne office life remains so taxing that one feels fully drained by the time one reaches home it becomes very difficult to balance ever changing dynamics of office all the time and now with covid 19 there is another dimension of dynamics added to it to work from home it sometime makes us feel that peace and spirituality is far off thing and may be possible only in the mountains i too carry this notion that there is nothing much one can do alongside the job however it may be possible after retirement to focus on self and spirituality although i have been associated with spirituality through out my office life i was listening to a recent talk of our global guide mr kamlesh t patel daji which changed my thought process he said office is a testing ground like a heat chamber where our inner strength such as the peace calmness love compassion honesty truthfulness etc is tested every moment this is like a reality check of the strengths which may be possible which may not be possible in isolation and we might get false understanding of these to throw light on all these aspects let me introduce the speaker of the day dr mohan das hagde he has done his doctorate in the workplace in workplace spirituality from mysore university recognized P phd guide at the university of mysore in interdisciplinary research he has been educationist with 25 plus years of experience in economics human resource development and spirituality published many research papers in workplace spirituality and related subjects and conducted many workshops or sessions on similar topics he is also a heartfulness meditation trainer since 1991 presently he is working as a director research center for research education sadhana and training the crest recognized by university of mysore bangalore list of his accomplishments are too long last but not the least let us welcome our dear professor dr mohandas hagde to enlighten us on the workplace spirituality good evening and namaste to everyone it's a nice uh, to hear uh, brother raman kumar welcoming you all to this wonderful heartfulness session where we are going to speak on spirituality at workplace so without uh, making any delay uh, let me straight go on to the topic how important the workplace spirituality is as my friend raman kumar mentioned that we spend a lot of time in the workplace so naturally it is very very important for us to understand how can i make my workplace more life 
enthusiastic and a place where I can feel more happiness. So let me bring a context out of this and ask you all a simple question. How many of you really understand this aspect where you try and you know figure out that whenever I go to my office, what do I feel? That's very, very important thing to look into. What do I feel when I go to my office? Whether I feel peaceful, whether I feel calm, whether I feel happiness, or am I feeling more enthusiastic to go to the office? So this is a question which you have to put to yourself. And if the answer is you feel happy and you are enthusiastic to go to your office and you feel a live environment and enthusiastic environment to work in your office, in that case, I don't think this presentation is required for you. Because you are already into workplace spirituality. Still, my guide says, that perfection is a process, it's not an end. So let us have a look at in what way we can make this possible at workplace. This is not a new subject. Go back to the ages of Socrates, Aristotle. Go back to the ages of Chanakya or Vedic period. Go back to the ages back into those uh, emperors and kingdoms like Ashoka, Akbar, Shivaji, any one of these great people, you can imagine, you can understand this aspect that, you know, they were the kings who ruled with a lot of accomplishment and they really kept their subjects so happy. So that is, that was the kingdoms where I still remember reading about Krishna Devaya where he it has been said in his kingdom the doors were always open. So as a king, as an emperor, they could do it. Why not we? So coming back to the aspect of spirituality, I am not diving deeper into the aspect but I will just give you a kind of, uh, you know, uh, simple aspect like connectedness, concept of connectedness not only with yourself as well as with the entire universe. Secondly, it is a kind of consciousness that aligns sanctity of all beings. So when we speak about spirituality in a very simple sense, science that studies about myself, self spirituality when you look at, science that studies about myself. Now, already my friend Raman Kumar mentioned that because of the COVID, because of, uh, uh, you know, economic status, situation, overall job satisfaction and corporate morale in some places, all the time is low. So, when we look at this, sometimes monotonous life, unpredictable circumstances, economic crisis, all these things sometimes haunt us. So, at that particular point of time, what I need to do? As an individual, as a human being, how can I really pull up myself? So that is where I need to look into this aspect of workplace spirituality. Where I have to look into this aspect, what is that sense of purpose at work? And how can I connect it? How can I be connected with myself first, then connected with the work environment? It's not only physical resources, it's also human resources. Because I know these days we are dealing with physical resources more. We are more with the tech savvy things. We are dealing with our uh, laptops and we are with our PCs and with our mobiles. Yes, but at the same time, what is my connectedness from within? That's a profound thing. Because... Today we speak about stress, we speak about depression, we speak about many other elements which is related to the mind. It's mainly because there is a disconnect between my head and the heart. 
we will come back to you with this aspect of how heartfulness can help you in this process so when we talk about the screening between these two the the life connection between the two there is a dislink that is taking place so because of this dislink my connectedness with myself and connectedness with the workplace community get dismantled so how can i do it so it's very important that i have to start with myself as i mentioned earlier everyone wants us wants to be happy everyone wants to be contented everyone wants to be peaceful you know when we talk about contentment peacefulness happiness everyone wants it but at the same time how can i be so that is where the concept of connectedness that comes in so when you look at the workplace as community we can look at this aspect very very clearly that it's an environment if you are an entrepreneur if you are an a boss if you are a ceo of the company how will you deal with the people with if you are an employee there what is your relationship right from the shop floor level to the top level it's a connectivity this is a link that is getting established and at the same time you have personal awareness your value systems and how happy you can be how better you can be so that is the goal when you look at the concept of workplace spirituality how i am going to connect with myself and then how am i going to connect with others those of you who are curious and interested if i have to tell you about my research as uh, 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 my friend raman kumar mentioned about it already that in my research there are various you know references you can see there are lot of uh, uh, references today on workplace spirituality where how an industry a company a uh, institution recovered and became live not necessarily only in the environment as well as in area of profitability and other areas so when the employees within an institution within a company within an industry are happy we can find definitely their output level goes up that happiness is revealed today we like certain products we like certain commodities we like certain services service providers just r&d find out what kind of situation they are actually producing this product how they are serving to the people what is that uniqueness they provide so that actually makes a big difference it is not necessarily we are look not looking at the aspect of the affluence or the development or the growth of the company or an industry or an institution when the employees who are working there treated well and the employees when they deal with their things happily the things differ so overall when you look at this aspect of wps you can see internally and externally need people need to transform and change we need to awaken what i can bring best out of me my attitude my thinking has to change where how can i refine myself so that refinement actually can help me in these dimensions meaning and purpose in my life focusing on the now many a time we will be running between the past and the future forgetting about the present look at the liveliness of the children many a time they live in the present and they are most of the time cheerful and happy so the concept is when i am at the office when i am at the institution when i am at the work if i think about the home i don't think i'll be able to do the justice when i am at home i start thinking about the office you know somehow we have got these shufflings so 
spirituality helps you to live in the now and today in this moment all of you watching this youtube how many of you you can just make a you know a note how many of you really are in the now how many of you really are in the present are you thinking about your kitchen are you thinking about your work tomorrow are you thinking about what am i doing here question yourself if you are in the present you are going to grasp most and very very important thing is workplace spirituality adopting the holistic view of the world looking at the things in a holistic way so that is where the difference that comes in that is where the work environment changes so moving on further when we look at there are all ample opportunities when you look at the merits and you can find the climate of trust loyalty honesty communication and commitment that comes and of course ethical behavior that comes in you can see rest of the uh, aspects are uh, creativity and dynamism of course we are not forgetting about productivity because many times people think that if i bring in spirituality into my to my life i may not be able to be productive not at all when i am an integrated person when i am a person of enthusiasm if i am a person of cheerfulness if i am a person who is dealing with the things not as a challenge as an aspect through which i will be able to through with optimistic approach then you can see naturally productivity enhances it doesn't mean that stress will completely go out of my life it has been said little stress is essential you go to a doctor and ask this question that do i have pressure do i have blood pressure doctor says very clearly that if you don't have the blood pressure you are a dead body so i need to have a pressure i need to have a little bit of stress but i should be able to manage it and that's possible with the help of workplace spirituality so ways and means we can see various ways and means worldwide international yoga day we are looking at the concept of yoga yoga that helps us to transform to change become more and more you know like what you can say that relaxed pranayama sermons you know we go to church we go to temple we go to mosque we hear we hear all our priests all our great people and sometimes they ask us to sit for meditation they ask us to you know introspect that helps coming to the aspect of meditation even though yoga and meditation are these two things which i experienced in my life if i have to tell you i was working at mumbai doing earning and learning both because of this yoga because of this meditation even though my day was is to start at 5:30 in the morning and is to get over 10 at night still there is to be liveliness there is to be enthusiasm why because enthusiasm liveliness contentment these things are not anywhere outside they are within me it is up to me to encash it that is where the concept of meditation helps us it helps us in so many ways and means many of us are educated in this and many of us think that oh meditation is not for cup of my tea and many of them think that meditation is concentration many of them think that oh meditation means i have to spend so much of time imagine something which i invest on if it can give me a good result and i can compress the time i can utilize the same time which is given to be more productive it's a concept of minimum input maximum output which you speak about in economics same thing as for us this is what i have experienced when i started meditation i could make out improvement in professionalism 
as well as I used to feel there is there is lot of time, lot of time in your hand. Why? Because now you are more focused. Your work as efficiency has improved. You need not have to look back whether I have done right, whether I have done correct things, whether my relationships are proper, whether the boss whatever has been said I have understood properly or otherwise have communicated properly. That is where the personality improvement that comes in. So we need to look into this aspect. So everyone meditates. It doesn't mean that none, many of you those who are here, you are all meditating day in and day out. Only thing is object of meditation differs. When I am sitting on a dining table and I am having food, I am meditating on the food. When I am driving, I am driving, meditating on that. Otherwise, my focus will not be so good. So, here, in our heartfulness meditation, we speak, speak about meditating on the highest. That is the concept which we speak about. So, here, the concept of how I can connect myself, how I can come, I mean, connect myself within, that's very, very important. And how can I really come up with that joyful existence and the precious gift that we have, uh, it, is, it is for the humanity which we are offering free of charge. So, when we come back to the aspect of meditation as such, heartfulness meditation as such, experiencing myself. I have got time for the world. I speak about the love for the humanity. We speak about the peacefulness and calmness. What about me? Am I? Am I peaceful with myself? Am I loving myself? Am I affectionate towards myself? There was a TED talk which I was watching. A lady from Hong Kong, she was speaking. She is saying that throughout the life she never loved herself. Throughout the life, she never loved herself and she became a victim for a dreadly disease. Then she mentions that I started loving myself. And she was almost free from most of those dreadly diseases. What I meant to say, dreadly disease as such, what I meant to say is sitting with myself. That's very, very important. Sitting with myself. And many a time, concentration is not meditation. Concentration is the result of meditation. So, when I practice this, uh, my friend Raman Kumar will explain you further about it later. But when I practice this properly, regularly, that can definitely help in making my life more poised, more balanced. So, what are the unique features when we look at? So, the very, very important thing here when we look at the concept of yogic transmission. So, we will invite you. We have a trainer. With our friend Raman Kumar is one of the trainer in Master. So, Oman. So, he will explain it further. So, coming back to the uniqueness of the aspect, you can see Pranamuti or the transmission. What is transmission? Definition is given there. So, when I sit for meditation, there is a support which is given to me. I remember when I started meditation with Hatha Yoga, I was doing meditation without any support. It was Omkar meditation which I used to do. So, there was no support system. When I started with heartfulness meditation way back in 89, my trainer mentioned that you sit you sit with one thought and then relax yourself. That relax yourself made me rejuvenate. Because I need not have to do any mantra or anything like that. So I sat very relaxed way. And then my trainer said, the support system will come for you from outside. That is what he meant to say transmission. Pranahuti. That can help to enhance Second very, very important aspect is, unique aspect is, concept of rejuvenate. World itself means, again become young. How many of you don't want to become young? Every day when we go to the office, or otherwise, we stand in front of the mirror and look at ourselves and say, am I looking smart? Am I presentable? 
this is external am i presentable from inside this is in hindi we have a beautiful concept chehra roo ka aina hai your face is the mirror of your soul your inside is reflected on your face so this cleaning process actually like how at the end of the day you get back home and take a shower and then you say okay now i am relaxed same way i have to rejuvenate again giving my own example whole day from 5:30 in the morning till 10 at night i used to roam around you know mumbai life those of mumbai cars you know very well running behind the train running behind the taxi running behind the bus go for the class earning and learning when i joined heartfulness somehow 10 o'clock when i reach home i used to find a surprise maybe i got a place to sit today in train maybe i had a more, little more rest few days i was surprised then later on i realized i get back home do this particular cleaning this rejuvenation process that is to help me to relax my mind when the mind is relaxed the body is relaxed every one of us we have got the capacity please look into this book where you know very clearly it has been mentioned the heartfulness meditation the the concept of heartfulness meditation the way of the heart so where it is very clearly mentioned how relaxation actually helps you how rejuvenation actually helps you helps you to relax well so that you will be able to meditate better so coming back to the aspect of workplace spirituality all that i have to tell you is it's very important for every one of us today at this particular point of time to look within ourselves connect with ourselves so that not only me that peacefulness within me hindi mein kahawat hai khushbu jo andar rehta hai wo phailne lag jata hai the fragrance that is within you it also starts spreading so when you enter into your office environment when when you enter into your office it is not only you the people whom you are interacting with also will feel rejuvenated and happy so further to make you understand more with clarity more with understanding about this heartfulness we have a heartfulness.org the website address is here we have heartfulness app you can have a, a download the app into your mobile and you can meditate we have trainers all over the world 165 countries so many more informations are there when you go to our website my request for all of you is look at your welfare look at the try and feel that fragrance within you be connected with yourself and try and open up that treasure from within so that it is not only for you it will help your family members society people those who are at your workplace and the whole world as such so thank you for this opportunity i wish all of the viewers wish you all the best thank you very much thank you raman kumar thank you heartfulness so, friends heartfulness can be reached uh, at wellness at heartfulness.org uh, we heartfulness has a lot of other ventures and endeavors which it has uh, hand holded and regarding these ventures one of them is the hearts app which is very much there just download the hearts app and you can practice heartfulness from wherever you are we have the heartfulness magazine which is also online and has lot of good uh, articles which are related to your fitness and well being we have master classes the free meditation master classes which are known as mastering being uh, the link has been shown on the screen we have uh, come up with uh, many programs uh, webinars we have the glow webinars we have the pearl webinars and what we now just now we were a part of for the heartfulness wellness webinars 
the youth have developed another line or another stream which is called as hello life for the youngsters uh, our dr our very own dr kamlesh patel ji is uh, on this uh, program called tune into your heart we have also started the relief fund the covid 19 relief fund for people who would definitely benefit uh, from this and please feel free to contribute towards the covid 19 relief fund we have a helpline which caters to anyone who has problems anyone who wants to just talk it is known as a voice that cares and needless to say we all care for each other so at 9 o'clock we sit with our prayer with our hearts open with the universal prayer and you can see that which is also there the link of which it is given so feel free to participate in this movement in this life uh, way of life which is called as heartfulness thank you thanks a lot